Hey everybody, I'm going to do a quick overview for in-track recorder for the iPhone. This is actually on my iPad, it's a little bigger and easier to see. So if we click in-track, then this is the opening screen. The thing I liked about this was I didn't have to do anything, I just go in and I can press this red button, check test, one, two, one, two. Uh, I couldn't figure out how to stop it. The stop button looks like it's grayed out, but it's not. If you press the stop button, it will stop. Rewind works too. Let's click play. Check test, one, two, one, two. Um, the other, along the bottom here, there's one that says EQ spectrum. So if you click that, you can see the mic inputs, which are working. Right now, over here, the second button from the left looks like a pencil. That's edit mode. So if I just click on this track, tap and drag, I can select that part. If I tap the hammer and then cut, I can get rid of the rest of that stuff. So back to just my check test, one, two, one, two. Check test. Uh, the thing about in track recorder, you can use it like that and just do a voice memo. Uh, or you can record multiple tracks. So uh, normally to do that, you would use some headphones. Let's see if I can get my headphones in here. So that, because it's going to play back that first track while you're recording. Uh, so if you've got the headphones on, you can hear that. And I'm just gonna try and echo that first track. Except I recorded right over the top of it. So, what you can do is drag that second track. So I went to drag mode and I'm gonna drag this second track down. And I've got highlighted so I can go in here and say cut. Well, or how about delete track. So back to my first track. That's good. So this time I'm going to hit the little plus sign down here to add a new track. So it records into whatever track is highlighted at the moment. Um, if you double tap, it expands to show the, the waveforms that you've got loaded into it. Uh, if you hit this button right here again, when you've just got two arrows, you can pan and zoom so you can zoom in or out you can zoom horizontally here i can see my tracks i've got two other tracks going at this point i'm going to select that one and say delete down to two tracks rewind check test one two one two so now if i That feedback that you heard was because I unplugged the headphones and so the microphone was ready to record and the speakers were playing and it feeds back on itself. So what you do to get rid of that is just tap down here in the main part of the board. It does that when, when you highlight one of the tracks. It gets ready to start recording again and so it'll clear that feedback loop. So to get rid of that just don't select a track. Um, at this point, the other thing I, I would typically do is, uh, let's save it. So click the hammer and click save. It wants you to name it. So I'm going to name it one. Uh, I can select the format over here that defaults to wave. Uh, wave, I have trouble with. It, it seems to hang when I try and use wave sometimes. So. I'm going to select the compressed format. It's MP. It's actually M4A, which is Apple's version of an MP3. It's a little better than an MP3. Uh, it, it, there's no loss. So, so I've got that all configured. I'm going to go over here to my keyboard and click Go. I can see the progress bar. It's a pretty short little file, so I did it quick, quickly. The next thing I can do with this thing at this point is. Uh, I can send it if I click send by email. It's using my compressed format. 
and it brings up a little email so I can click in here and shoot it off to myself or whoever else I want to send that to um, I'm going to cancel out of that because I really don't need to send that to anybody delete draft um, the other thing you can do is download it to your phone or to your laptop uh, you have to use iTunes and it's a little bit tricky so I'm going to show you how to do that too all right so I connected my iPad to my laptop and it brought up the uh, iTunes I clicked on device my iPad over here on the left and then I'm going to click on apps over here at the top and then I'm going to scroll down under file sharing I have end track and there are my recordings so to move this onto the computer I'm going to grab this compressed file click save to a new folder new folder on my desktop Okay, and so if I shrink this, see my new folder over here, come down into it, there's my file, and there we go, got it onto my laptop. A couple of other things you can do with this recording. That's useful, by the way, if the file's too big to email. Lots of times, if you do a full song, uh, even compressed, it's going to be over 5 meg. So, um, let's see. So, we're back into the iPad. If I click on that, if I put the headphones in and I click on that track, and I can click mixer and it gives me a volume control over here so I can mix the tracks individually the volume on the tracks there's also a uh, red button down here which controls a lot of the ways that it records so that can be useful another settings button is down here this little wheel takes you into this one where you can set it to do mono you can turn off the auto gain control on the mic so if you're recording music a lot of times you don't want it to automatically control the gain you want to do that yourself so they've configured it so you can do that the uh, the last thing I would show you is let's see if you want to sort of close out of the song you hit the hammer click close you can also, uh, if you go into Browse Import, click the hammer, click Browse Import. There are my tracks, um, tracks, wave files particularly, tend to take up a lot of space. So you drag from left to right in the screen, you get a little delete button, and you can delete those wave files. And that's pretty much it. For now, that, that's enough to show you how to record a multi-track recording and get it off of the uh, get it off of your phone. Send it by email. Hopefully, that was helpful. Good luck.